name is Veena Srirangam and I'm a junior barrister at 106 Court. I completed pupillage at 106 Court in October 2019 and I've been a tenant here since. In this video, I'll be talking about pupillage at 106 Court. As you probably know, pupillage is the training year for barristers. Towards the end of your pupillage year, members of the chambers that you are a pupil at will decide whether you will join their chambers as a member, which is also known as being a tenant. Pupillage at 106 Court is split into three seats. In each seat, you will sit with a different supervisor, the idea being that you experience different practice areas and different stages of disputes. The seats generally follow the court terms, so the first seat runs from October to December, the second from January to March or April, and the third from April or May to September. During pupillage, I worked on a range of cases in different practice areas. All of the work I did was live, meaning that I was contributing to a case for a dispute that was ongoing. I found that to be a particularly satisfying aspect of pupillage at 106 Court, because I felt that I was contributing in a meaningful way to a real dispute. The work that I did as a pupil was also very varied. It ranged from researching particular points of law and presenting that research to my supervisor, to doing a first cut of an opinion or a skeleton argument that my supervisor was working on. In addition to working for my supervisor, I also assisted other members of chambers with research and other discrete tasks that they needed help with. During their second six months of pupillage, pupils at 106 Court are able to take instructions on in their own right, meaning that you can appear in small, smaller hearings as the advocate. These tend to be low value claims, usually in the county court, and are a great way to practice your advocacy skills in a low stakes environment although it does not make your first hearing any less stressful. As a pupil at 106 Court, I generally had a very good work-life balance. I usually got into chambers at 9.30 and was strongly encouraged to leave by 6.30 in the evening. During busier periods, I worked longer hours and sometimes at the weekends, but I was aware that my supervisors really appreciated that and were also working similar, if not longer hours. In terms of assessment, Pupils at 106 Court are assessed on each piece of work that they do for their supervisors and other members of chambers. Pupils are not given formal assessments, nor are they pitted against each other in mock advocacy exercises. At 106 Court, pupils genuinely are not in competition with each other, and everyone who meets the tenancy standard will be recommended for tenancy. At the end of each seat, your supervisor will then write a report about the work that you did for them, and whether they consider you to meet the standard for tenancy. Before you move to a new supervisor, that is at the beginning of each term, you will also have a meeting with the head of the pupillage committee and the senior clerk who will tell you how you're doing. Ultimately, by the time the tenancy decision comes around, you should know exactly where you stand and how you are doing. That all sounds rather daunting, and there is no getting away from the fact that pupillage anywhere can be a daunting experience because it is an important stage of your career. But I felt that everyone at 106 Court recognised that and wanted to support me and my co pupil to achieve our full potential. With that in mind, pupils are assigned a mentor when they start pupillage. The mentor is usually someone a few years into practice, the idea being that they will be able to guide you should you run into any tricky issues or problems. Fortunately, I never did, but it was nice to know that I had a friendly face to turn to should anything come up that I couldn't discuss with my supervisor. I also found my co-pupil to be a great source of support and because we felt we weren't competing with each other, there was no need to be anything other than helpful. In terms of the social side of things, pupils are really treated as part of chambers and invited to attend social events such as our Thursday drinks, Christmas parties and annual dinners, as well as events held in chambers for students. All of that provided me with a great opportunity to meet other members of chambers. Ultimately, I found Chambers to be a fairly relaxed place, which put me at ease as a pupil and is something I really appreciate as a junior tenant. Overall, I found that during pupillage at 106 Court, I was continuously learning whilst working on really exciting cases with extraordinary and incredibly nice barristers, and the pupillage year really flew by.